Welcome back to Soul Blazer. So, last time we started exploring the forest of Greenwood, we resurrected some of the animals here, and we also got a new weapon, the Psycho Sword. We also have a new helper in the form of a mole that joined <laughs> our little orbiting ball here and will help us finding some new areas in the water dungeon. So, let's get to the shortcut and return to the water shrine here because there's something in the in the underside that we need to, we will need to use the our new companion to find out i didn't miss this damn lizards <laughs> off to a good start already so here we are uh the mold that joined us basically allows us to see in the dark and this light will uncover some of the secrets that are hiding under here. We have three monster lair remaining to find and so we might as well start getting a look around to see what else is in here. You, we can find out about the monster totems by the slightly darker shade. Let's see if there's someone else. No. Might as well take these monster layers now. Marcus released the mole. Another one. Good. Now let's see if there's anything else to find. This light will also reveal some hidden passages, oh, which will not be visible without it. Uh, where the hell did he go? Okay, there you are. Stop playing the waiting game with me. Oh, it was only one. Marcus released the squirrel. So there's only one monster lay remaining here. Let's see if there's another totem that we need to destroy. I went here already. There you are! Oh, I could have killed this guy in the first place. What's in the box? Oh, 50 gems. Huh. It's better than nothing, I guess. So yeah, now the water shrine is completely empty. And we can continue our exploration because now we have the fire shrine to explore. Right over here. So let's enter in our fire level. And we also have these metal metal scorpions. This will be another other enemies that we will have to wait until we can defeat them properly. I wonder. Yeah. Oh, let's wait. Any more of you? No. Oh, another treasure. Oh, thanks for the for the full refill. I already have a me medical orb, fortunately. Oh, oh no! They they learned how to turn. Ow! There's a there's a specter. Okay, I think I found the perfect spot for here. Let's wait. Anyone else? Good. Okay, we have a new passage, but before that... I just released a dog. A dog and a full feast, apparently. <laughs> Let's continue. I love this lava effect. A bit trippy, but it works well. Oh! Hello! What are you doing here? Having fun? I press the wrong button again. 
And again. There it is. I have to keep reminding myself. It's the Y button to shoot magic. Mm, nothing. Oh, tease. You teased me with a box and that box was empty. You shouldn't do this to me. I'm a treasure hunter. The scorpions here might be a bit of a a bit of a problem considering the how much tight the tighter the corridors are. And unfortunately we can't do anything against them for the moment. Marcus released a dog. And a full cemetery for the looks of it. I think it did tell us that Turbo actually died. So yeah, this whole community was forged by, uh, was created by Turbo. A dog created this entire community of animals, which... I guess it makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. Oh, they are teleporting, and now I get the flicker. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> it's funny playing it... Uh, Kind of, I, 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 well, I won't go semi-blind, I've beaten this game like twice, but I don't remember all the details, so I'm kind of surprised by some of the stuff that happens. The joy of wonder and self-discovery. Oh my god, can you go away? Oh my god, okay. Ah! I swear I am sort of decent at video games. Even though it doesn't seem like it right now. Okay. What else? Marcus released a squirrel. All this new population and all these new passages. So outside of these of these scorpions, there's is there anything else under here? Okay, I think this is the spawn point of the of the scorpions. Oh, look! Oh. Let's let's get rid of these ghosts right now. Might as well. Oh, good. I think we are in the clear, because there's two monster lay remaining, and one of them we can exactly free at the moment. Oh! Another! This fireman shoot! Apparently! One. I could use magic too! You're not special! Marcus released a mole. Okay, so now this bridge, we cannot cross it while it's red because it will be eaten by the lava under here. So we have to basically, so we have to wait when it's cold and gray. Typical, typical trap of this kind of levels. And the squirrel, the second of the trio for this theater. Curious to see what the performance will be. There's something right this side. Cool off, please. Be careful because the it will do a lot of damage if you stay on the uh, on the heated surface for way too long. So better take your time and don't rush. Oh my god, you, how stupid can you possibly be? Look at the rage of this attack. Oh. That, that was a bit too close for my liking. 
<laughs> and there we go. Here, take this light arrow magic. Would you like to return to Greenwood? Uh, let's stay here for the moment. Okay, so we got some new magic to equip. The light arrow. Cost is 8 gem and shoots light arrows in all directions. By all direction we mean 4. This is great for covering ground. You can... You can be much less precise when uh, when attacking, so you don't have to worry too much. Like you might do with a fireball. Oh god! Of course, I will pick the wrong passage. In this. Thankfully, Blazer is quick on his feet. There we go. Oh, it's another. It's the teleporting variant again. I wonder, does magic... No, magic still does nothing against uh, the, 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 metal, the metal enemies. Oh, great! I'll level up in the min in, uh, at the best possible moment. Okay, now we have a new passage and I have to wait. <laughs> yeah, this spot is kind of a... It's kind of a waiting game because of this stupid fire gimmick. Not that much harder than than usual, but oh my god! Yeah, look, look, I'm I'm hitting the enemy despite being right behind me. I'm hopping on this a lot. But it's it's always fascinating to see how much of an attack range you have. Most of these most of these games always tend to give you a very short uh, uh, attack range because, of course, it would be a bit too easy otherwise. Uh, not this game. This game just says, "Fuck it, you can go whatever." <laughs> you have a great physical attack and. We'll see later lots and lots of magical options. This one is probably the, the one I would tend to use the most because of how much ground it covers, but we'll see later. I don't exactly remember all of the all of the magic spells in this game. Uh let's go here. There are four shrines left. Oh, okay. Hi, fireman. How are you doing? Having a red hot day? How many of you are there? Oh! Hey, only I am allowed to attack you with magic. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's free this layer and then we backtrack a bit because I'm fear I'm afraid I've missed something. And another mole has been released. So let's get back. My instinct wasn't wasn't wrong, and we release the bird. There is a bird sleeping in front of Turbo's gravestone. Well, if someone is sleeping, that means that we'll have to interrogate him with the dream rod. So we know what to do when we get back to the to the woods. I hate these scorpions. Okay, so we can continue exploring. How many layers are left? Two. I guess one uh, one is uh, dedicated entirely to the scorpions. 
I love one-shotting a big group of enemies in this game. <laughs> it's the most satisfying feeling ever, and we saved the deer. So I guess we are nearing the end of the fire shrine. What's in there? Some gems, good. I'm gonna guess this is the layer related to the scorpions, so let's get back up. Oh, this is where I blasted the fireman before. And we have a shortcut, nice. And the final monster layer to, that we can release. And it's a squirrel. And I think we're pretty much done here. We'll, we'll, we'll need to get back to finish the scorpion later. Oh, where are you going, you stupid raft? Marcus began to hear a small voice. We are rafts, made from the branches of trees in Greenwood. If you cannot prove that you are for Greenwood, we will not let you ride. Okay, I guess. Let's return back to Greenwood then. Let's see where we can find a... Uh, proof of membership. Ugh. I would always get it by these lasers, right? Annoying. Thankfully the shortcut is right here. So we have a bunch of new NPCs to talk to, to talk to, so let's begin. I need to take a walk and walk some of this food off. Oh, okay, follow us then. Hey. I, unless your pathfinding is completely broken. Which I'm gonna guess it is. <laughs> I think it's broken or at least way too short moving. This is a restaurant. Would you like to see the menu? Yes! Great! Let me tell you a special of the day. You! I'm just kidding. Please don't be offended. This restaurant is famous for delicious food and fruit drinks. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a, 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 a funny joke. I can tell what something it is just by its smell. Alright, let me start doing my job. I think we already talked to this guy. Uh, let's see who lives here. Tubo the dog used to live with a human named Dr. Leo. Tubo the Lord great many things from him. He used branches from the trees to make a tool called a raft. Oh, so those rafts were built by Turbo. I see. I see. So Leonardo da Vinci teached the dog how to build rafts. <laughs> the the Lord of Soul Blazer, ladies and gents. <laughs> I don't remember how to get that box. Hopefully I will find out later. Boo! Come on, aren't you surprised? Uh, actually, no. Not really. I'm sorry. There once was a raft made from the bark of my branches. You must find this raft. I believe we might be able to help you in some way. I think we already did. If you have me cross the river, I will give you something. Oh, I think this guy gives us the armor. Uh, again, Mole, I'm, I'm... You're not scary. You, you really are not. <laughs> I applaud the effort, but please stop trying. Uh, let me see. Something was here. Yes. I'm always digging into the ground. In the ground, sometimes I dig up strange things. I just dug up some dog bones to down there. I got scared and reburied them. Oh, all right. Dog bones. I gotta guess those were Tubo's bones. Where did he bury them, though? Hmm. We'll find out, I assume. Oh, there they are. Hello? 
You must bring me something that once belonged to Monmo. Okay. Uh, once I figure out who Monmo is. Ooh, a sleeping tree. I hear someone snoring. I can't tell you who's making the noise. We do. Let's use the dream rod. Oh, look at here. Even though I'm only a stump in real life, I have the dream that I'm a bird that can fly anywhere, fly wherever I wish. Okay, thanks. Is there nothing else here? Just talking to the bird? Oh, yes, there is something here. We opened the shortcut. Now I think we can get the armor. Let's go back and well, and see what we can find. Yes! Marcus received ice armor! Great! You can cross fire without damage. Okay, so now traversing the fire shrine will be quicker. Especially since we have a, a shortcut, but whatever. Thank you. I am Billy, leader of the Woodstein Trio. Our show is really exciting. I... Th I wonder if this uh, Woodstein Trio is some kind of a reference to the... Uh, to the Bremen musicians. Which is a... A German folktale, if I recall correctly. Let's get down here in the cemetery. I'm guarding the graveyard. I hear someone snoring, but we can tell which direction the sound is coming from. The bird sleeping is right here. Oh, great. We open the passage. Tuber refused to give his life to the evil one, Death Tool. He fought Death Tool trying to save Greenwood and all its animals, but he was defeated. I think this is the ghost of Turbo? Marcus, go to the Light Shrine and release the Guardian of the Woods. You will find what you're looking for. There is a bird, Tiki, that will tell you how to use the raft. You must protect Greenwood, now that I'm gone. Oh, farewell, Turbo. You were always the best boy. Turbo, wait! The rafts will only carry the residents of Greenwood. Maybe if we bring something that used to belong to Turbo, they, will might, they might help you. There are some leaves from Greenwood buried with Turbo. Here lies Turbo, builder of Greenwood. So I guess that if we reach those bones, they might have the... the leaves that we need. The leaves of Greenwood are found under the dog bones. Okay, so now we can use the raft and we can reach the third and final shrine, the Light Shrine. But, as always, we will do that in the next part. See you then!